What's going on boys? So today we're going to be looking at 84 rated Rotovan Knockouts uh, Max Arnold. I'm not even going to pronounce his full name. We'll just call him Max for sure. But we're going to have a look at this Max Arnold card. And honestly, he doesn't look uh, amazing, amazing with a 74 pace, right? We'll put a catalyst on him, so he goes to 84 pace. Now, with 84 pace, that means he is only free physical off of Hullet Gang. So he's not as bad as people make him out to be. Obviously, you can go for a shadow as well. It's either a catalyst or a shadow. Personally, you just need to get that plus 10 pace. The reason we've gone for a catalyst over a shadow, I think his defending is already good enough. We're going to be playing him as a right CDM in a 4 triple 2, kind of attacking wise, if you will. Um, but I mean, starting off, boys, high medium work crates. He is six foot tall and he is left footed, so we're going to be playing him as a left CDM, strong foot on the strong side. As for attributes, obviously he goes to 84 pace with a catalyst slash shadow, depending on what you go with applied. Shooting is actually solid with 91 shot power and 90 long shots. His 80 finishing and 79 positioning isn't crazy, but he's got a rocket of a shot on him, that is for sure. Passing as well is relatively impressive, and with a catalyst, he goes to 90 curve, 95 long passing, um, 90 or 89 short passing and he goes to 93 free kicks and I believe is at 86 crossing. Dribbling's a little bit underwhelming. 71 agility with 70 balance but as for his reactions, ball control is really solid. Defensively as well he is really really good disregarding his heading accuracy. Physical 81 stamina maybe could do with a little bit more especially if you're using him as a centre middle like a box to box type of player. You will need a little bit more stamina than that. Strength and aggression will do the job and as for traits he's got the power free kick. Outside of a foot shot trait as well. He honestly looks like a bit of an underrated card. So an update on the leaderboards as well as it stands. In first, it is David Ginola with a 9.4, and in second, it is Infor Rafinha with a 9.3, followed closely by in, uh, Ones to Watch Saliska with a 9.2. Now, remember, these uh, rankings, these play review ratings, etc., etc., are based on how they perform for me and also their value. So you have to keep that in mind. Now, Arnold currently coming in at 25,000 coins. Let's have a look. Is he worth it? Obviously, as well, if Wolfsburg do go on to, you know, give it up, Grade, which I'm not too sure they will. Wolfsburg really are not favourites for the UCL or to even get even a plus one upgrade, but it will be interesting to see how he holds up, boys. I'm actually excited to see how he plays in game. Right, so hopping in to the gameplay with Arnold. Now, as I said, we did play him as a left CDM in a 4 triple 2 and we did pair him up with Bruno Fernandes, um, and we had Bruno as a more attacking type, and we had Arnold as a more, you know, stay back defensive one. So, as you're going to see in the clips, you're going to see some passing, and there's actually some really nice tactics tackles that he did pull off later into the clips as well. Now, as you can see in the bottom left, I've just rated, you know, every stat and how it felt in game for me. Now, remember, this is with the catalyst applied. I have gone for pace of 8 out of 10. Obviously, 74 pace, you could make a debate, it's going to be 7 out of 10, but with a shadow slash catalyst, he goes to 84 pace. So, pace, I've gone for an 8 out of 10. Shooting is an 8 out of 10, although we didn't really have to test it out. Passing is most definitely an 8 out of 10, maybe even pushing a 9 with that catalyst applied. Dribbling is an 8 out of 10. Disregarding his agility and balance, his dribbling actually felt really, really solid. He's got some solid ball control, some solid, you know, actual in-game dribbling. I think it's like 81 or something. It's just for 70 agility and we'll see for 70 balance and 71 agility. That does let him down in that aspect. Defending an 8 out of 10 and physical an 8 out of 10 as well. I did find him. He really held the, you know, CDMs together. But take a look at this clip here. As you can see, one tackle and two tackles. And then we kind of nudge your opponent like he didn't give away a penalty and we do get it out in the end that is absolutely class and that is two tackles for Arnold in the penalty box very very clutch player cheap hidden gem in my opinion he was very solid his pace I didn't find an issue what I did find an issue though is his you know turning on the ball as I said 71 agility and 70 balance along with that um, his two star weak foot and being six foot tall he's a little bit predictable he's a little bit iffy the two star weak foot as I said play your strong for me personally I play my strong foot on the strong side so I played Arnold as a left CDM um, and you have a 70 agility or 71 agility 70 balance I keep getting them mixed up he does feel relatively clunky being six foot he does turn on the ball very rough so you have to use this card as a more defensive type of player you can't really dribble around with him too much and when I say he's predictable with a two star weak foot you can't really pass it on his right foot because you know it's going to go wrong it's going to be a misplaced pass and it is very risky especially if you're playing him as a lone CDM by himself if you're playing him as a lone CDM and he's got the two-star weak foot that's going to he's going to be very 
like non-reliable if you're in a sticky position and you want to pass it away and it is going to happen to be on his right foot he's only got a two star and he will be absolutely disastrous it'll be a misplaced pass it'll be all over the place so just make sure if you do play him as a dm i'd probably want to have him in maybe a four three one two so you've got you know the the other two center mids on the right center mid left center mid and play arnold centrally if you want to do that so obviously you've got more of an escape route if you do get in a tight position him style we've gone for a shadow personally i used a catalyst because i played him kind of more attacking than defensive i did play him defensively um obviously i played bruno more attacking but still i with a four triple two your cdm's never particularly like you know too defensive because you know you got no other players in the central your cdm's going to get quite a bit of a ball so i did go for a catalyst um and also i didn't have any shadows on me so it just fit quite well uh so if you guys do have a shadow on you i'd definitely recommend chucking a shadow as i said a catalyst wouldn't be too bad either you could go for an anchor but personally um i feel like you need a much more than a plus five pace i mean as it is he doesn't feel great on the ball with a 70 balance and agility um but you know being six foot you need as much pace as possible and in my opinion 79 pace isn't going to cut it that's why you need that plus 10 pace so 84 pace in game very respectable and as for the pros have gone for well-rounded i mean we gave him an eight out of ten for everything passing as well as passing was definitely the standout and his traits was very nice as well i believe he's got outside of the foot shot trait and he's got a power free kick trait so you can chuck him on free kicks but the outside of a foot shot trait especially I mean, this man's got a rocket on him, right? He's got insane long shots, insane shot power, outside of the foot shot. He's going to have a rocket and a half on him, so he will be kind of reliable. You might, uh, you know, you know, you might score a few bangers with him. Um, but as for the cons, as I said, we've gone for the balance, agility, and a two-star weak foot. We've already gone over that. Now, he's currently coming in at 24,000 coins on the Xbox and 26,000 on, uh, or sorry, 24,000 on the PS4, 26,000 on the Xbox. Now, what I'm actually doing is I'm going to search up Wolfsburg and how they're looking in the UCL at the minute. Because personally, it doesn't really look like the guys are getting too much upgrades whatsoever. Right, so we've got the UCL. If we go over to the table, what group are they in? Uh, Wolfsburg are currently fourth in, in Group G. So they're currently last. They are tied on points with Lille and on two. Okay, so it's not as it's not as far apart as, as I thought. Wolfsburg are currently tied fourth, obviously, just with goal difference with two points in their group with Lille. But they're only one point off. Like, second is only three points. Third and fourth are two points. So who knows? Um, Wolfsburg have got got Sevilla, Salzburg and Lille in their group as well so it's not like it's going to be impossible um, for him to get some upgrades now if this card does go ahead and get some upgrades I feel like he's going to be a really 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 respectable card and as it is I think he is actually dare I say it I think he's an underrated card he was really solid for me people are overlooking him because of you know his agility balance are going to think oh he's clunky and slow trust me give him a go you might be a little bit surprised now for the overall rating out of 10 obviously based on how he performed for me I'd say he had a really solid the performance and based on the value of 24k it's not a bad price to pay but you do obviously have to put it into perspective it is a tradable say an emre chan or emre can i'm pretty sure it's pronounced you know emre can yeah he is like what 1000 coins and he is quite comparable so in that aspect i feel like the value for this arnold card isn't crazy but obviously it does have that factor to upgrade overall we're going to go ahead and i'm going to give him a 7.3 out of 10 nothing crazy um we gave that melee card the the serie a right wing back that reviews out if you want to see we gave him a 7 out of 10 and we're going to go ahead and give arnold a 7.3 i think he's underrated yes but i'm not convinced on paying 25,000 coins for him and i doubt he'll get any upgrades especially when you could just you know go ahead and buy like a can or something like that if you guys did enjoy this review if you are new as well make sure to drop a like and subscribe it's been your boy davis and until next time see you later boys